Hi, and welcome back to the Making Team Projects Work video series. I'm Lauren Vicker here with my colleague, Tim Franz. And this is actually going to be the last in our series of conversations for this academic year. New for the summer, starting next week, Tim and I are going to be giving you just one minute tips for any team, whether it's an academic team or a professional team, whether you're doing team projects or simply having your regular team meetings. So if you haven't had time, three or four minutes to listen to our longer videos, tune in and listen to our one minute tips for teams. And this will be seen on all of our platforms, including Tim's TikTok, to Tim's Tips for Teams. I think I've got that right. <laughs> okay. Tim's, and if you, Tim's TikTok Tim, Tips for Teams. We can keep throwing words out there for you. Know. We'll, we'll be doing that tease for a while there. So anyway, if people have any suggestions, um, please feel free to reach out to us. It's easy to do that, whether it's on it's on LinkedIn, on Facebook, uh, on our website. You can put comments on our YouTube channel. And we actually even have an email address that's making team projects work at gmail.com. So, so our topic for this week, uh, sort of to wrap up the semester, I asked him to think a little bit about some of the lessons that he learned teaching an online course that involved teamwork. And we know that a lot of faculty are worried about trying to do teamwork when it's online and they can't be there in person with the students. So Tim, why don't you give us maybe your top three tips for what you learned over the course of the semester? Perfect, I've got three tips for you, Lauren, because doing teamwork on an asynchronous, especially platform, virtual is hard enough but asynchronous, it can be even more difficult. Yes. So mm -hmm. tip number one, as we know, the teams slowly lose focus and we have to keep up on any team, making sure that they're meeting their deadlines, their goals. Mm -hmm. This is even more important in an online course, in an asynchronous mm -hmm. course. We need to keep very good timing and keep track of everything to keep it moving forward. Once they get behind, it can be really hard for them to catch up. That sounds great. And that's something that we've emphasized quite a bit over this particular academic year is keeping in touch with the teams. And, and yes, especially for online. So how about number two? Well, number two, you just started to talk about it. It's not only keeping the time going, keeping in touch with the teams, hmm. keeping on track, and that requires checking in. And so it can be global check-ins with all the teams you're working with, or it can be individual check-ins. And I would re recommend both. Make sure to be continuing to check in, doing regular peer reviews. So maybe if you have a short seven week asynchronous class, do peer reviews every week. Um, make sure to give them feedback on those peer reviews. So ongoing check-ins as well. And that sounds really great. I remember one time we actually did just an anonymous survey to find out how the team projects were going and we found out all our teams were behind the deadlines. So it, it enabled us to really pick up the pace a little bit with them. Yeah, how about number great. three? Yeah. Okay, so tip three is you're gonna be working with technology. Know your technology, teach to your technology and match the tool to the technology. And what I mean is you've got lots of tools available to you online, asynchronous tools, synchronous tools. Make sure you know which one to use when. I see a lot of people who don't work with teams online often try to hit every single project with the hammer. They know how to use, for example, Google. And so they use Google Docs, Sheets, things like that. And that's how they hit everything. Well, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, these are great tools, but they're not the only tool. There's also yes. discussion boards. There's um, ways to get communication across. There's, I mean, now it's old school, but email, text, phone call. Mm -hmm. So in these computer-mediated communication systems, know your technology, match your tool to the technology, and teach to the technology when you have to. That's a really great point. And also knowing that in an online class, you don't 
maybe know all the students as well as you do in a face-to-face -face class. And so you can't assume that they just know how to use those tools. So teaching to the tools can be just doubly important, especially at the outset of the projects. Perfect. So thanks very much, Tim. And thanks everyone for joining us. Uh, we have a lot more information on our website, uh, Making Teen Projects Work. And we also have a little book about it uh, that might be helpful to you as well. So we'll be back next week with the first of Tim and Lauren's Tips for Teens. One minute. Thanks, Lauren. Thanks, Tim.